The holidays are a very special time of family and giving, thinking about others, and just having a wonderful time in the seasons. But, you know, a lot of times people feel like they have to give something just out of the obligation or the duty. You know, there are ways that you can decrease your greenhouse gas emissions doing a, a selective many families raw names and um, choose one person to make a special gift for or get a special gift for. And um, that's what my family does. And I like to try to make as many of my gifts as possible. Last year, I pulled my, my wife's name and I made her this table out of wood that blew down uh, in our yard from Hurricane Sandy. This year I have an idea for a gift that will uh, help who I give it to decrease their greenhouse gas emissions. Trying to uh, make this thing from, it was a failed attempt at a large rock polisher. And that material is gonna be perfect for my plan. Let's see if it works. When making a gift for somebody, I think about who they are and what they value. I think about all my experiences with them, what we've enjoyed doing together, and what I might have to offer our future experiences. I also think about my goals of helping people find ways to decrease their greenhouse gas emissions while still living a comfortable and enjoyable life. When the idea comes together, I get a motivation from deep inside that gives me energy and focus. I love working with steel. It can be used and reused over and over. This very steel I've had for 20 years. It was a counterweight in an installation that I did a long time ago called the Territory of Love and Fear. It was a marver in a glass shop. And after that, a welding table. When I look at the surface, I can see cut marks and holes that have been filled with weld, grinder marks, all evidence of its former uses. This evidence gives it a sense of voyage and time. Memories about steel plates are trivial to that of my memories with the person who I'm making this for. My memories with them span the continent and over three decades, they are filled with joy and wonder explorations of the great outdoors and all its creatures that inhabit this beautiful planet. Finished up the senior critiques and came down to uh, use the glass cabinet and fix, fix up some of these these tiles. It got saturated with water so I gotta take a take a break until it dries out. But let me show you what I got here. All right, so today's gonna be a big day. Got done with uh, the senior critiques yesterday. Try to get a lot done. Um, it's coming along really well. I don't have anything else to do except for my FYS and some grading. Well, anyways, I'm gonna get to spend a lot of time on this project today, I hope. A long time ago, a friend and colleague, Tim McDowell, gave me this acid and he said it worked well on steel. I'm gonna try it. Kinda looks kinda scary. I really don't know what this stuff is gonna do. It's going. Well, that's exciting. I hope I didn't put in too much. It is like bubbling. So, I'm gonna go inside and build a gingerbread house. So that acid is definitely exciting. Um, oh look, I don't think you can see it, but the moon is through the trees. Oh, that looks beautiful. And if it does a bunch of work for me, that'd be great. And uh, I can turn the acid at the same time. All right. Okay. Okay, Dad. Gingerbread house time. I don't have to hold it anymore. I'm gonna let go. <laughs> let it go. This is spaghetti. Out in the studio, that was acid. Hopefully I didn't make the acid too hot. Um, and hopefully it didn't 
burn away the entire piece of the steel. But we'll see here. Pull them out of here. This part smooth, but where it ate in, there's a texture. I love how it just washes off and reveals itself. We come down to this societal deadline of the holidays. It doesn't really matter what day your your family actually chooses to do their gift exchange. It's this deadline, and it's kind of fun. The thing that I've really learned over the years is to um, to remember that it's fun and not to get too overwhelmed because I do kind of get a little in over my head. So I'm in the studio and I'm trying to finish this project because this is actually our family's gift giving day. This is the deadline. Oh, look, we have the moon and the sun is coming up over there. It's a beautiful world. Um, and I was in the studio and I hear the rooster crowing and I've still been trying. Oh, 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 oh. did you hear that? <laughs> I've been still trying to get it recorded. You won't crow now, huh? So yesterday we did our family gift exchange and I had to present my gift virtually um, since it was not there in person. And it's not quite done, but it will be done soon. And luckily I have a very understanding family because now some of my family things. Yeah. Sure. Some of my family things, like going sledding, takes precedent. Don and B went to Massachusetts for a few days, which gives me an opportunity to finish up this project. I got my list of things to do. One of them that's on this list that I wasn't expecting was that the bluing agent that I used actually smells when you heat it up. So uh, that's not so, so good. Nobody wants to ruin their party with a sticky sculpture. So I'm gonna, whew, see, it smells in here right now. I'm going to take these plates. I've already sanded them down a little bit and I'm gonna heat them up Here's an example of a plate that's blued with heat. And this will do two things. It'll make them a little darker, so they'll absorb the sunlight, and it will also um, get rid of the stink. It's deeply regretful that the planet's life-supporting systems aren't as durable as this steel. Wouldn't it be cool if the social construction is about showing care and love for someone, or planting trees and putting up solar panels? Well, it's finally done. The thermal transporter. This is a gift from my brother, Jay. Jay mentioned that his office was a little chilly. And with this, you'll be able to take heat from a surplus area, collect it in these plates, and then carry it to a cooler area. And when they get hot, you use this handle to pick them up so you don't burn your fingers. I recommend doing a half stack rotation. You enjoy the heat off of half of them and collect heat in the other half. And while you're rotating them through, get yourself a cup of coffee and a breath of fresh air and enjoy the wonderful world that we live in. Love you, brother, and good luck with all your greenhouse gas reduction projects.